This type will vary depending on what CPU cooler you will be using. If you will be using a stack cooler or CPU air cooler, then you can follow this step. But if you are using an AIO, you will need to install that once the motherboard is in the case. So for this scenario, we will be using a CPU air cooler, which means we will need to install the cooler first. Installing a CPU air cooler may vary depending on what brand you will be using. So my suggestion is to always consult your user manual or installation guide that comes to your CPU cooler. The first thing you will do is remove the pre-installed mounting bracket in the motherboard, but leave the CPU backplate as we will be needing that. Usually on AM4, the stack backplate is commonly used by many coolers, so you won't have any issues installing other things at the back of the motherboard. Once it is removed, install the spacers on the four screw holes and place the mounting brackets at the top. You will see a guide in the bracket on where to put the screws if it is for old AMD or AM4, and then align the bracket holes to the backplate holes and screw it in. After that, remember to add thermal paste. Most CPU air coolers don't have pre-installed thermal paste, but if your cooler comes in a pre-installed thermal paste, then you don't need to add more. Also, make sure to remove the plastic cover from the copper plate of the CPU cooler. Many people always forget to remove the plastic cover and their thermals are always a mess, so make sure to check that to avoid issues. Once the mounting bracket and thermal paste are done, Remove the fans of the CPU cooler so we can have a room to install the CPU cooler. Align the cooler into the bracket and screw the CPU cooler at the top part. Screw them evenly to avoid damaging your CPU. After that, you can now install your CPU fans using the metal fins. You need to follow the correct orientation of the fans when you remove them to avoid negative pressure and get better cooling. 